Rangers beat the Penguins three out of four in this regular season, and uh, they were pretty dominant at times. Josh, I want to ask you about this series coming up. Penguins on the road. They're not expected to win it. They're not the better team right now. How do they beat the New York Rangers? What has to happen? Well, first things first, Bob, they better get a split in New York. Uh, they've lost three in a row to the Rangers. There was nothing fluky about those games. If they lose the first two in New York, it's over. Uh, forget about it. Uh, it's an uphill battle for the Penguins anyway. The good news is Casey DeSmith has been really good since taking over for the injured Tristan Jari. So that should relieve some concerns for the Penguins. DeSmith is not a superstar. He's playing at a really high level right now. And the fact that the other team has the best goalie in hockey at the moment is no small thing. So maybe the mismatch won't be quite as much as we thought before, maybe two or three weeks ago, because of DeSmith having to play for the injured Tristan Jari. It's still a mismatch. It comes down to the stars, Bob. Uh, the Penguins are not as deep as the Rangers. Their bottom six, frankly, isn't very good right now. Crosby, Malkin, Gensel, Latang, Rust, they all have to go off in the series. They're, po they're, they're capable. Uh, you know, I, I really think they have a puncher's chance, but, man, it's asking an awful lot of them, especially at their ages. Yeah, I mean, this is something that's with a lot of teams, but they got to neutralize that transition game. They can't make key mistakes in the neutral zone and allow the Rangers to take advantage of it. They also can't take dumb penalties because the Rangers' power play is really good. And offensively, how about some bodies in front of the net? Make it tough on Sesterkin. He has clobbered the Penguins so far this year. He's clobbered a lot of teams. Um, but they need to find ways to get, you know, that what you hear this time of year, the greasy goals, the dirty goals. That's how they're going to score in this series. Um, those are a few of the keys, I think. I do. Like Josh said, they have a little bit of a chance, but the Rangers are no doubt the favorite. Yeah, it's it's a tough task. I, I like Josh said, I like what Casey DeSmith is doing. So I might just switch things up a little bit. Let's just I mean, maybe they should try to outscore him. Maybe forget all the all the stuff you want to do to play defensive play close to the vest type stuff. You still got some scorers on this team, albeit they're not as uh uh, as high powered as they once been. So I'm going to go out there and just try to light them up here early in this first game, especially um, try to take it to them, try to put some goals. You've seen the Penguins put up the six, seven, eight goal type of games, of course, not against the Rangers, but I'm going on, on that route. Cause if I think if they play a defensive physical type of game, I, I don't think they have much of a chance at all. All right. Prediction time real quick. Uh, Josh in this one, you're right. The Penguins have the manpower to do it, and I would never doubt those guys because they've done it before. But your pick is what and how many games? Uh, my pick is Rangers in six. I think the Penguins will give them a little bit of a scare and make it interesting, but I, uh, it's just two teams going in opposite directions right now. Jeff? To, to Chris Letang's point, you know, they want to prove that they're in the dance, and I do think they'll get a couple of wins. And sorry to be the same, but I have the Rangers in six, too. But you said Rangers in three for a second there, Jeff. Right. But no, uh, Rangers in five, I'm going to say. I think just too much power power in the pens or for the lack of better terms, look like a tired ball club right now. All right, we're going to go to a break. And we'll be back talking about Jordan Addison and what's going on there at Pitt next right here on KDKA.